like our people know what they need to do. They, we're just cowardly and we're um, comfortable. The thing about it is, is that you have to have a plan. You know, Sun Tzu said it best. In order to defeat your enemy, you must be flexible, right? So you got to know when to come in and when to come out. We also have to learn how to fight our own battles and cannot look to other people to help us because everybody's not an ally, okay? When that stuff popped off with George Floyd, the majority of those people marching was not there for George Floyd. Remember, we have a global pandemic, people out of a job, people ain't got no money, and people was bored, all right? That's number one. Number two, if you want to burn something down, I would assume you will burn down the community of the people responsible for murdering this black person. You don't tear down your own community because, to Brandon L's point, them people got to go back to work. And then now what's going to happen? They don't have access to transportation to go on the other side of town to work. And the white people over there is not going to allow them to come over there because they've seen everything that happened here. So we have to, to Sir Trice's point, which is Sister Topaz, we have to be able to provide our people an incentive if you're going to do something like that. If we're not going to provide them a job or some stability, then then don't burn nothing down. Breaking the wrong foot. <laughs> 